All right, I'm gonna show you how to trace an image using uh, Inkscape. Let's go find an image. I'll click on images. This will work. Download this. Click save image. Once we've got that saved, you want to go to Look up Inkscape. I already have Inkscape, so I'm not going to download it, but you just download the program from here. I use an older version, seems to work better for me, but you can try and see whatever works for you. This might be fine for you. So now we got it installed. You install just like any other program, it's simple. You open it up. And we'll go get that logo we just downloaded. We'll drag that into Inkscape. I leave it just like this, hit OK. <clears throat> Expand this. Click on the logo, and you want to hit. Shift Alt B at the same time. Once you get that, just click update. Okay. We just leave all the generic settings that's in there. That seems to work most of the time. If you want to play around with them, you can play around with them. This usually works most of the time. We'll separate it. This is the image. This is the traced image. This is the original image. So we're gonna delete the original image. That'll leave us with just the traced image. We'll cross that out. We'll go up to view, display mode, outline. Now you can see this is the image that we traced. Looks pretty good. So, back to display mode at normal. So we'll click, select that again. Then we'll hit file, save as. Let me pick a folder here. We'll name it McDonald's. And you want to save it as, or I save it as encapsulated postscript, EPS. This is for what I use to make my decals, or I use it in Corel Draw. We'll select that, hit save. I leave everything the way it is. Just hit OK. Now we'll open up Corel Draw. And let's go. We just saved that in here. So we'll drag this over to Corel Draw. Okay, we got that. Now we'll take, we'll separate this here, the range, break curve apart, and get rid of the square. So I'll leave us with just the logo. Delete that. And let's see how she looks in here. Wireframe. Looks pretty good. Now you can resize this and do whatever you want with it. Cut it out as a decal or whatever you like. 